Hello everybody, it's itamog 217 Welcome to a LEGO Indiana Jones set review. Take a look at set number 77012, the Fighter Plane Chase. This is a set that released on April 1st of 2023 contains 383, or sorry, 87 pieces, three minifigures, and uh, is based off of the Last Crusade movie of Indiana Jones. So taking a look at one of the first two models included in this set, you have the fighter plane, which is what the name of the build is. It's a fighter plane chase, so of course it makes sense you have a fighter plane. Now, admittedly, there was a fighter plane chase set released in 2009, and it does look very different of a build than this one. Uh, image shown on screen here for you guys. Uh, but yeah, I think that one looked a little bit better than this one. This one feels a little bit small, but to be fair, this is a $45 price range, and the other one was a little bit more expensive in 2009, so it kind of makes sense, but they captured it okay, and you do use some stickers to get that camouflage look on the plane, which I guess looks accurate, um to a degree. Uh, now, the only complaint I have with this build really is the cockpit piece. And why is that? Well, if you remove it, you can see up close, it is a sticker. Why is the cockpit piece a stickered piece? It makes no sense whatsoever, to me at least, and is a pain in the butt in terms of applying it, because you could absolutely mess up this sticker. But anyway, now that we've got the cockpit open, you can see how the minifigure sits in there. He's got a little uh, joystick right there for him to control, which is nice, so that's a nice little detail that carried over. I like that. And the seat definitely looks like a plain seat, so definitely some detail in there that I like pretty cool stuff and then you can see there's some uh, printed dials on the front there on the inside of the build at uh, you know added detail that's cool stuff now if you want you could flip up this to make it look like the uh panel is open so that way you can load the fire plane pilot in there so that's cool cool stuff now for some reason you do have some flames emitting from the bottom of the plane that plays more into the main play feature which is a part of the scene from the movie but in a, that we'll get into in just a second here anyway going in more of the detail the propeller is made up using the paddle pieces which i think is great part usage uh you do have some such shooters on the sides of the wings now you just press down on the little trigger there it'll fire out a one black one by one dot tile whatever like you want to call it but anyway now well the one play feature with this set uh that is a part of the movie uh is also tying into the side build which is a little sign that says going this way to berlin and then that there's a little tunnel and there's a little tunnel scene where the plane is chasing after the car and of course the plane can't fit in a tunnel so just pop off the wings why don't you and uh oh not the piece accidentally my bad but yeah <laughs> you just pop off the wings and you just have it going like that and that's what the flame piece is for it's just to kind of add on to the fact that hey it's on fire it's about to explode kind of thing and it does explode but yeah anyway not really much else to say about this plane other than it looks okay i guess so let's have a look at the second main build oh so here is the second main build which is the car and this is actually really well put together you only have two stickers rep meant to represent the doors on the build and it looks really good now at first uh looking at the box i was like hey this car doesn't have any tires but it's just the way that the tires are on the hubcaps is just weird and so it sticks out a little bit and makes it look like it doesn't have tires but it does anyway uh i like the whole part usage of like the bb heads for the top right there uh so that, that, that looks good it looks good and uh, i like the use of this piece as the windshield piece as well you can fit both minifigures in there pretty comfortably as you can see you recreate that scene in the movie now admittedly this p section of the build or i guess car in general only appeared for like 30 seconds of the whole fireplace plane chase scene now i would prefer if this was another plane but then we just have a straight up remake of the 2009 one so i guess it's nice that we got the car because then you, if you have the 2009 one you just have an extra plane that's different and then you just have the car which is entirely new so i'm a little on the fence with how i feel about the car being included rather than a plane so it's really up to you how you feel about it but for me i'm just on the fence about it anyway uh you do have a minecraft chest at least that's what i call it design with the flat top right there now kind of weird design choice for them to include a dark brown for the lid and then just a medium nougat color but inside you have just a musket and a umbrella pretty common things for indiana jones and henry jones you do also have a little 
briefcase as well that sits in there that inside, at least that's where I've placed it, is the journal, the Henry Jones journal tile piece, which I think is a cool inclusion. I just kind of shoved it in there because it just makes sense. But yeah, these fit in here pretty well. You got these on a double jumper and then fits on like so. Not that these were actually included in the movie. Uh, they just kind of jumped in the car and drove it for like three seconds and then crashed it. Anyway, not much to talk about the builds so and the history of it. So let's just move on to the minifigures included in this set. Let's take a look at the first two minifigures included in this set. On the left, we have Professor Henry Jones Sr. Uh, this is an exclusive minifigure just to the set, as is Indiana Jones, uh, just mainly for the torso. But yeah, pretty cool inclusions. Definitely makes sense because these are the main characters included in the scene that is based on for this build. Pretty cool that they brought back this old uh, adventure helmet piece in 2023. Uh, a lot of people, myself included, thought it was just a mold we wouldn't get anymore. So that's pretty cool. No double-sided facial expressions for Henry Jones Sr. That's fine. Uh, honestly, not much you can ask more for this figure. Uh, for Indiana Jones, he comes with his iconic whip piece in a rubbery plastic. And uh, he does have a new hair hat combo molded piece, which looks really cool, admittedly. Uh, and he does have a double-sided facial expression, so you can kind of give him a little more concerned look rather than the just happy smile Indiana Jones, which... Either way, it's pretty cool stuff. Let's, uh, but yeah, not much else to say about these figures other than they are pretty cool and exclusive. So let's have a look at a third and final minifigure included in the set. Which is the fighter plane guy. Uh, on the box, it literally says fighter pilot, but it literally is a German pilot. Uh, because, again, in the whole movie, they're going against the Nazis and whatnot. So yeah, in terms of this minifigure, yes, it's exclusive, but it's a very lacking in detail minifigure when you compare it to the 2009 figure, which does have more detail on it, and at least in terms of the torso. And that's a figure released 14 years ago. How do we go a step backwards, Lego? Come on. <sighs> anyway, he does have just a regular facial print that is used for like the TIE fighter pilots and stormtroopers, etc. But I'm overall fairly disappointed that it's just lacking in detail. I'm pretty sure you could do more with the detail than just a fairly generic looking torso. Maybe that's just me. It's a little disappointing, all things considered. But yeah, not much I'll say about this. Let's have a look at what else this set includes, shall we? Taking a quick look at the instructions, you have a 3D rendition of the build with the figures, a QR code if you want to build the set digitally via the instructions app, and eventually LEGO's going to go to paper bags. Don't know when, but eventually. But anyway, I'm flipping open. You can see the build techniques for uh, the car, and you do have a progress bar for Indiana Jones, which is pretty fitting if you ask me. But yeah, pretty simple, straightforward building instructions. Um, but yeah, flipping all the way to the back, I guess. You have just the same 3D rendition as the front of the instructions. A parts listing that goes on for a few pages. No advertisements for the other Indiana Jones sets, which is kind of weird. And then just a win at the back. In terms of extra parts, this is all that I got in my copy of the set. Overall, for a $45 Canadian set, the set overall in terms of the builds is great. Like, again, I'm iffy on the fact that the car should have been a plane, but again, that was done in 2009, so it's a fresh take on an old scene from a classic movie. So, yeah, uh, the included inclusion of a sign is a nice little reference Easter egg of sorts, but it kind of feels a little off. But anyway, in terms of the figures, two out of three are detailed enough for my liking. I just wish that the fighter pilot was just more detailed it looks very lazily done so in terms of if this is worth the 45 canadian i'd say yeah go for it if you're a fan of indiana jones this is probably the cheapest set for you to get your hands on and you're not going to be disappointed at overall so yeah definitely recommend picking this up but yeah i guess those are more or less my thoughts let me know yours in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this review make sure to hit that like button or dislike it, it works for me uh subscribe if you're new to the channel all that fun stuff anyway thank you everyone so much for watching and i'll see you all in a future video till then see you later Bye bye